Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso. Coming to you from Dundee today. I'm on a work-related trip. As if you watched my previous video, um, I said I'd be visiting a coffee uh, shop this morning, and this is the shop J A Braithwaite Limited. As you can see, here's all the paraphernalia. Now this shop has been around for 150 years um, and here are the coffees here. I'm interested to try that Jamaican Blue Mountain and possibly the Kenyan as well. Excuse the noise of the cars. And they see they do an Ethiopian as well. So I might get that one and also an espresso blend. Uh, they also do teas as well. And of course the owner has probably, well the person there has kindly given me permission to take these shots, so kudos to them. I'm just going to go inside. I don't know if I'll be able to film inside though. Well guys, as you can see, here's the inside of the shop. Very, very traditional. A lovely chat with the lady behind the counter who's giving me a bit of history about the place. As you can see, just a beautiful shop. Very quaint and small. They do all their roasting here um, at the shop. And as I said, the business has been around for over 150 years, 154 years, I was told, and um, still going strong. And it's a family business as well. picked up a few coffees this, uh, this morning, um, Jamaican Blue Mountain, and a few others, which I'll discuss later. Anyway, this is Jay Braithwaite, and it's a beautiful shop. Well, everybody, that was J.A. Braithwaite Limited uh, Coffee Shop. Um, beautiful little shop. Um, I didn't want to stay there too long and overstay my welcome, to be honest. They're quite camera shy, um, and it was very kind of them to actually allow me to go inside the shop and take a wee nosy around. Um, I ended up getting uh, basically four bags of coffee from them, um, a kilo uh, in total, so 250 grams each. Um, I ended up getting their espresso blend. Uh, their Kenyan. And this is their guest blend that they call, but it's Indian Monsoon Malabar. And last but not least, I had to get 250 grams of their Jamaican Blue Mountain. Lovely stuff. Can't wait to try these. Obviously, I'll let these rest for a wee bit and probably have them when I get back from my business trip. Um, so price-wise, this came to £40. Now, if you take away the Jamaican Blue Mountain, which was £28 for 250 grams, that was literally £12 for 750 grams of whole beans. Now, in my opinion, that is a real bargain. Um, a lot of these artisan um, independent companies, you're looking at 8 9 £10, £11 pound per 250 grams. I mean, these were like three, four pound for 250 grams. Um, the Jamaican Blue Mountain was obviously expensive, but I mean, you're going to be paying, uh, you're going to be paying a bit for that. And it's obviously uh, uh, quite uh, rare or rarer than the others. Um, but it just goes to show that, uh, you know, I had a lovely chat with a lady behind the counter as well. She said they're not in it to make a profit at all. They're a family run business. They've been running it for over 150 years. They just want the customers to have good value coffee. And I honestly can't wait to try these. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see how these fare up against the other coffees that I've tried. Um, so yeah, I really look forward to trying these. So um, probably start maybe review one of them at least um, in, in the next week or so. Anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed the little wee tour inside. I know it was short, but as I say, I didn't want to overstay my welcome. Um, Anyhow, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you wish. And have a good day. Take care, guys.